Hey, what's up guys? I am chilling at my condo here in Cebu City. Got a few days here to take care of some things before heading off, doing some more island hopping and some more adventures. But I thought it might be a good idea to share with you some things that I wish I brought to the Philippines before I came and also some things that I did bring that I'm really glad that I did. So I've compiled a list I want to share it with you and even if you get one or two good recommendations from this I think it's a worthy video. And of course if you can think of anything to add to this throw it in the comment section below. But this is just an information video. I've um, been thinking about it as I've been traveling around so all right here we go. First thing to recommend I brought this and I'm really glad that I did. A packable lightweight nylon beach blanket. You can pick them up for cheap if you shop on Amazon or any kind of place like that. Um, man, they're so handy. I've already used it so many times. You throw it down on the beach or wherever you're hanging out and if the sand gets on it, it just shakes right off rather than like a typical material blanket. Um, it's that fine powdered sand is just gonna stick to it. So bring yourself a nylon beach blanket. Oh, this is a biggie. I shopped around forever trying to find the right pair of shoes. I didn't bring adequate footwear. There's two types of shoes or footwear that you're gonna need in the Philippines. Number one, a good pair of flip-flops. You're gonna wear those everywhere and most of the time. You can get flip-flops here for sure, but if you have larger feet, you're gonna run into the problem of just finding the right size. So if you're like 11 and above, it can be tricky. So pick up a pair before you come. Otherwise, you can find them here. But the other thing that's hard to find is a really good pair of like water shoes, something that you wear with bare feet, no socks. You don't wanna bring like running shoes where you wear socks here, in my opinion. Um, a versatile pair of water shoes, Morel makes them, they're awesome. So the water just flows right through them, they dry quickly, you can hose them down if they get stinky. Um, you can wear them in the rain, you can wear them canyoneering and just wear them like regular shoes, but they're, again, they're just super versatile. There's different brands or even like Tiva or Keen, they make a pair of like shoe style sandals um, where they cover your toe and your heel. Um, but again, you can just wear them in the water and it doesn't matter. So between those two things, flip-flops and water shoes, it's all you need. Get it before you come. It's just not easy to find sizing and styles and everything here. And they're more expensive here too, I, I found when I was shopping. All right, so another thing related to clothing, if you're a bigger person, a bigger guy, muscular, whatever, um, it's going to be hard to find large size like shirts, for example. I wear like a medium shirt, maybe a large sometimes, and I'm buying like XL, double XL, and it fits like a medium. I don't know what the deal is with that, but just finding it hard to find like larger fitting clothes. So if you're a bigger person, you're definitely going to have some trouble with that. So just make sure you bring everything you might need clothing wise. And with clothing uh, as a topic, Try to bring like lightweight, quick dry type stuff. If you can find something your style, um, if you can find things that are that suit you, I just think lighter the better when you're packing stuff up in your bag. So just keep that in mind too. Okay, here's another thing. Um, when you're coming here, you're probably gonna wanna pick up a local SIM card and load it up with everything you'll need for surfing the internet, for texting, for making phone calls. So bringing an extra phone will just give you that versatility where you can use one locally here and then have your other phone if you need it for you know, business or personal stuff back home. Or if you have a phone like me where you have an eSIM option and you can have an actual physical card as well. So I just have both my, my plan from back home and then my local SIM card for here. So that's definitely something I would bring if I were you. So it's been very handy for me. Um, another thing to bring extra of, I had lost my ATM card uh, a couple of months ago. And man, is that ever a hassle. So you rely on cash here. So you're going to the ATM like every once in a while. It only allows you to take out so much. Plus you don't want to take out a ridiculous amount of money and carry that around. So you're, you're relying on the ATM. And if you lose that card, you're kind of screwed. And unless you're traveling with someone that can lend you money. Um, I had another one shipped out from the US. It's a hassle, it takes forever. There's just limited options, you know, if you lose that card. So bring an extra ATM card. Keep one in your wallet, keep one somewhere else. Hopefully you never lose it, but if you do, you have a backup plan. So highly recommend that. All right, another thing to bring extra of, or at least make sure you have the right type, because I ran into a problem. I have Apple products, so you know iPhone and uh, Apple Watch. I was charging my Apple Watch with a aftermarket 
um, charger that I picked up here and it was working fine for a couple of weeks and then I, I was about to fall asleep and I smelt smoke and it was melting basically it was like about to light on fire and that cable just was completely destroyed as it was being melted from who knows what just bad wiring inside so get apple product like apple charger and I, honestly i would just bring an extra for whatever device you use because your options here are very limited for getting actual apple stuff unless you're like right in manila or maybe cebu city you can get something but otherwise you're kind of screwed so all right let me think another thing i actually brought and i recommend you looking into is bringing like antibiotics um, obviously any medication that you take and also like herbal type medication so they don't have like herbal medication stores everywhere here i had a hard time finding like if you take probiotics or just any kind of thing like that just make sure you bring what you need before you come and then antibiotics are handy. I mean, if you get some sort of stomach infection from food you eat or who knows what can happen. You can be out in the province, out on an island, and maybe you cut yourself and it gets infected. I would just get like a, a few options for antibiotics and really have it organized so you know what they're for and what potential things can come up. Talk to your doctor. But bring all of that kind of stuff before you come here. I think that's a, a worthy thing to, to figure out. All right, so I picked one of these up before I came. You can get them here, but again, when you're having to worry about shopping and find the style that you need, it's just worthy to get before you come. A sling bag. Perfect thing to have when you're traveling. It's a long flight for most people coming to the Philippines to have a sling bag where you have your passport, your phone, um, you know, your earphones, any little thing that you're gonna want while you're traveling and you know, you're on the plane or you're cruising around the airport connecting different flights and then when you're here they're so handy to have you're definitely going to want one there's lots of options on amazon or wherever you shop some are waterproof some have like extra compartments i have a few extra you know little compartments for you know phone uh, or uh, camera batteries and you know a little area for cash my my earphones things like that so pick yourself up a sling bag before you come you're gonna be thankful that you did for sure all right, so another thing to consider getting before you come here, anything to do with electronics. Electronic stuff is actually more expensive here and you might run into the trouble of just not being able to find exactly what you need. So that could be anything. Anything to do with phones, tablets, earphones, or it could be uh, like for me, uh, you know, camera equipment or mic equipment. There are options in, in like Cebu City and Manila um, but it can just be a huge hassle finding exactly what you need. And of course, yeah, you're going to pay a little bit more too. So even things like I needed a pair of hair clippers, like electric uh, chargeable clippers. They're more expensive here. And I had to like bounce around shopping, trying to find what I need. So anything electronics, just get before you come and you're going to save money and time and hassle. And you don't want to do that when you're here. You want to be enjoying fun stuff for sure. All right, so this is kind of grouped in with electronics, but I wanted to mention it separately. If you're going to be taking video while you're here, if that's something that you're wanting to do for your own, just documenting your time. If you want to do a YouTube video like me, um, I recommend of all the camera options that are out there, a GoPro. The most versatile, easy to use, point and shoot. It's got the steady cam feature, so you don't have to be like a professional, experienced videographer to get good shots. The only thing that they're not good at is shooting in low light, but beautiful footage with a GoPro and easy to use, cheap compared to other cameras. So I would definitely pick one of those up before you come if you're thinking about doing some video. All right, a few kind of smaller random ones that I experienced having a hard time finding here. Back to getting that sunburn on Bataan Island, I wanted to get some uh, like chapstick because my lips were kind of destroyed from the sunburn, I couldn't find chapstick anywhere. Like I went to a few different pharmacies and nobody had chapstick. So that was my experience. I don't know if that's an issue everywhere. Like when you're in the city, I'm sure you can find chapstick, but the fact that it was hard to find wouldn't hurt to pick up a couple of sticks before you come. Another thing that I had a hard time finding was mosquito repellent. So you may or may not be concerned about it, but I was told about you know dengue being a common thing here especially in the cities and i was shopping around trying to find 
you know, mosquito repellent for that just to wear. And I ended up finding some, but, uh, you know, a little more expensive, hard to find. And also the type, it's like a thick pasty lotion. So it's kind of hard to put on. So way more options back home. So if you're concerned about mosquitoes and dengue, pick some up before you come. All right, last thing. It's a very long flight and highly recommend picking up a neck pillow before you go. You can get these things in the airport if you forget. The thing is, they're not all the same. So some of them are really flimsy and they don't work that well. Other ones kind of snap into place when you wrap them around. And um, I tried one that it was way, way, way too tight. So go check them out. Find one that's super comfortable and supportive. Like my travel time was like 20, over 25 hours. So super handy to have on the flight over. And it's also handy to have when you're here too, if you're gonna be like traveling around or sitting on a bus for a few hours, they don't weigh anything. So you can, you know, pack that up and bring it with you on your trip. Highly recommend that as well. I think that's pretty much it guys. I'm gonna be thinking of other things as I travel along and I'll probably make another video. Again, if you think of anything, put it in the comment section and can always uh, help each other out and I'll add it to a future video. And I compiled the list in the description. So if you wanna go through it and check it out, some of them have affiliate links. So if you click on them, um, kind of supports the channel a little bit. No big deal though. Shop however, uh, wherever and however you want to. But I thought I would just um, put that list out there for you guys to help out. And yeah, I'll probably be making more videos like this as I go, as I'm kind of learning different things as I travel around the Philippines and I can, um, you know, make videos and share and help you guys out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video.